for like three years and she's she was very uh, insistent yes thank you yes, insistent welcome. on trying to get this done and then I decided okay let's go for it be a dream if we could if we could just practice and then record and perform and and be happy with our music so we initially started the, the Glickman ensemble because Lauren Glickman our teacher and mentor he arranged a piece by Paganini for six of us, and uh, it inspired him so much that he decided to just keep writing for the group. Double Reed Conference in Ithaca, New York, and we needed a piano accompanist, and we were assigned a perfect stranger and instrolled Miss Pedge here, and she turned out to be so fantastic that she's been with us ever since, and she's always there for us when we need her. I remember the day I was assigned to you guys, and I was up at Ithaca College. I had to play, I think, six or seven recitals, and you were the last one, and they pulled me aside, and they're like, had you know who this group is. This is Lauren Glickman. They're coming, you know, this was like a serious group. And since then, it's just been a wonderful experience. And I look forward to every time I get to play with you. When you hear the recording, you'll be able to tell it's not sort of your typical bassoon music. It's not sort of the typical Weber or the typical Mozart. It really pushes the bassoon to a different, different type of genre, a different type of limit. Uh, it raises the bar on being an artist through the instrument. So what 
what's up next for the Glickman Ensemble? Well, in the immediate future, we are going to be hitting the road and hitting a few key places um, in the United States. So we're going to be in North Carolina. Um, we're going to be doing the International Double Read Conference in Ohio. We have 91 pieces waiting for us to record uh, back in New York. So um, that's a lot. We're also planning on our New York debut, which is going to happen in the fall of 2013. So that's going to keep us busy for the moment.